Hey guys, welcome to episode number 191. Today, update Monday is a day late, but I wanted to bring it to you guys anyways because I was really excited. I wanted to share with you guys, today we got pre-approved for a mortgage, which means we're gonna start house hunting. And as you guys know, um, that means I'll be looking at the basement uh, for a fish room, for keeping turtles uh, in stock tanks, and uh, so I just wanted to quickly share a couple of my criteria uh, that I'm looking for in a basement uh, for my upcoming house hunting. Now, obviously we want something that is dry, uh, something that will not flood. Uh, I'm kind of torn between a uh, basement that's already been finished uh, and a basement that is unfinished. Uh, I'm thinking that an unfinished basement is actually going to be to my advantage because I'll be able to frame it out exactly the way I want it and install uh, insulation, um, you know, waterproof the room, uh, make sure I've got a good vapor barrier, make sure I have good ventilation, uh, and make sure that the floors won't get ruined uh, if water spills on them. So that's definitely a plus. Um, a walkout basement would be fantastic in case I need to cart big tanks in or out, uh, all kinds of equipment, you know, it's always nice to have good access. If I'm carrying everything up and down the stairs, it's going to be a pain in the butt, but uh, that's that's probably not a deal breaker when it comes to a house. I can probably get stuff up and down the stairs, but I prefer not to. Uh, and then, probably the most important thing is uh, the plumbing. Um, it would be great to find something on well water. Unfortunately, the area I'm looking in is pretty much all city water. Uh, which means I'll have to dose my tanks like I'm dosing them now, uh, which is fine. And um, but yeah, plumbing, plumbing in the basement is going to be uh, a fairly important thing. Uh, where my drain lines are located, uh, if there's a utility sink already installed, uh, definitely things to consider um, because I need you know a source of water, and then I need a way to get rid of the water. So uh, those are some things I'm thinking about. Obviously, uh, I'm probably going to take up the majority of the basement with this project. I'm thinking of maybe splitting it uh, half and half. Maybe maybe half of the basement uh, is more of like a workshop and uh, the other half is more of the, uh, the fish area. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably going to be to my advantage to uh, wall that off um, so that I can keep that space separate, keep that space heated, uh, which brings up another concern. Depending on how much water I have, um, probably, it's probably going to be cheaper to heat the room than it is to heat the water. Um, so it's going to be important to uh, consider uh, where my uh, where my heating might be located and uh, how that might vent and exhaust uh, out of the room as well. So, anyways, guys, uh, those are just some things I'm thinking about. If you own a home, if you have a fish room. Uh, if, if, you, if you have some experience to share with me uh, about the home buying process, first time home buying, uh, or basements and fish rooms that you've set up, definitely, definitely contact me or you can leave a comment below. I'm open to everything and anything. Um, you know, I want to make sure that I find the right place. And uh, obviously, the basement and the fish room is just one small component to that, but uh, it's definitely something that's on my mind. So. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.